Okay, if you are asking me about the massacres that took place in the plains of Hula in the countryside of Hems, uh, specifically in three different villages uh, in the last day or so, then I will tell you that it's the armed gangs behind it. And the reason I say that is because these three massacres took place in the context of a broad attack against army roadblocks and security stations throughout the area. They also attacked the national hospital in the region and they set fire to the national hospital. And then they turned to civilian houses in some of the neighboring villages and they started killing indiscriminately. And some of those killed, some of the families killed, were known for their loyalty to the Syrian regime and to Bashar al-Assad. So it doesn't make much sense to accuse the Syrian army of the government that they have committed these crimes. In fact, these crimes have come at a point when a political solution is slated for the Syrian question. And these people do not want to see a political solution. Instead, they want to see a, an armed intervention, an international foreign intervention in Syria under the pretext of massacres. Don't you think that it's funny that each time an international envoy is about to come into Syria or is close to uh, having some kind of resolution in the Security Council that some of those massacres suddenly emerge? I think the political timing is always very suspicious. It, it would not make sense for the Syrian army to commit these massacres and withdraw and then just let the rebels come and take photos and make uh, documentaries about them. In fact, these crimes were committed by the armed gangs that are supported from abroad, from the GCC countries and from the NATO, specifically through Turkey.